flour mill industry the equipments mostly consumed the power is the roller mill that is the machines which you can see in front of us and we have total five mills a b c d and d e. all together we are consuming about 4.3 megawatt power and out of that most of the power is used by these roller mills you can see in front of us this is our most more most modern mill so one year old mill like that we have some mills which is about 30 years old mill 25 years old mill also so all together we are having our consumption is 4.3 megawatt this including ship and vessel of loading we have a silo system which where we are keeping different type of weeds coming from russia ukraine canada and all other part of the world in different quality and we are we have the process which is receiving the wheat transferring to the process area and the process area we are cleaning the wheat in different uh, by using different machines like a separator separating the stones separating the st uh, straws broken wheat particle etc after going through this various cleaning process we are adding water up to a certain limit and keeping the wheat for about 20 to 24 hours after adding the water and we are taking into the roller mill Basically, roller mill is just grinding the wheat and we are uh, sifting it to segregate the coarse and final particle. Again, we are grinding. So, mostly the, this process, it is going up and down. Grinding, going to the top floor for the segregation, coming back to grinding, again going back. So, this is a continuous process. So, everything, all this process, including the vessel receiving, cleaning of wheat, transferring of wheat and milling, all are controlled by this control group. This is this control room, we transfer and cleaning and we have the other uh, two more control rooms controlling for the other mills like A, B, C. And this is the D and D mill, this is the most modern technology, PLC controlled mill. And up to finished product bin, process is controlled by here. After that we have the finished product handling section. There we are uh, storing about 1800 ton of flour. And Packing, we have five different, uh, we have total eight different packing lines starting from 1 kilo, 2 kilo, 5 kilo, 10 kilo and 50 kilo of uh, about 15 different SQs. Flour, we have flour, we have bread flour, we have biscuit flour, noodle flour, semolina and like that we have different 14, 15 type of different SQs. Uh, all our factory is running on the our own power, we are not depending on NAPA or any government power. All our uh, power is supplied, generator supplied by green power, supplied and maintained, operation and maintenance also done by green power. We have uh, total 7 generators of gas powered generators, 1.5 uh, kV uh, MVA into 7 generators and one is always standby, 6 generators are running for our entire operation. Uh, my name is Andrag Shukla, I am the managing director of Crown Flower Mills and the business head of uh, the Greens division for Ulam International. Uh, we were uh, in fact uh, hiring the, uh, the gas generator sets from a local company. Uh, so that particular point of time it was one a very big cost element to us. It was making us uh, uncompetitive in the market uh, primarily because our cost of uh, uh, generation was much much higher compared to our competition. So our prime target was to basically reduce our costs and in the process basically we also wanted a very reliable partner because for us. Uh, uh, the, the power is a very, very critical element for running our mills. Uh, so these were the two elements, one was the cost and the second was the uh, reliability component. Uh, so uh, in that case what happened is basically we actually did a complete technical due diligence uh, wherein basically we compared the, uh, the performance of the sets uh, with respect to each other. So we did that with respect to Cummins, uh, the ZX sets, so they matched up to that. In fact. Uh, uh, I must say that uh, at the end of the project basically we actually got uh, much better uh, uh, the power generated per SCM of gas consumed uh, from green gas compared to what was even quoted by Cummins. Uh, so that is something which we are very, very impressed with uh, with respect to the uh, technical uh, capabilities of the project. In fact, our business actually grew tremendously last year. So overall basically there was uh, more than 50 percent growth which was uh, uh, delivered, but uh, there, there were various aspects onto it. So I won't contribute everything onto the onto the gas chains, but definitely they actually contributed in a big way in making sure that uh, we could produce our flower flower reliably, and basically it was cost competitive with respect to our competition. So that that definitely actually helped us in driving our uh, both top line as well as bottom line. Okay, I'm very pleased to introduce myself. 
My name is Tony Lee. Uh, Green Power is a joint venture of uh, JDEC, uh, ML Group, and, Ch and China Unities. JDEC is OEM manufacturer of world-class gas and diesel engine and generating equipment uh, established in 1920s. And JDEC is also subsidiary of CNPC, which is China National Petroleum Corporation, a uh, Fortune 500 company in the world, which is also the one of the largest oil and, oil and gas company in the world. So to give you an example, uh, we're currently working with uh, uh, Goodwill Ceramic, uh, Vigil Milk, uh, and Crown Flower Mill. Uh, we uh, offer the solution, total solution, to build up the captive power for the uh, power project for them. Uh, secondly, we're working inside of uh, Ogun Free Trade Zone uh, to build up the IPP, selling power to uh, among 10 companies. So on ground in Nigeria, we have uh, 35 experts, uh, uh, which has uh, more than 15 years of experiences. And they are also supervised by our entire team in China. Uh, we have about more than 2,000 employees in China. Uh, so whenever the, you know, the uh, contract is being finalized, then there will be uh, whatever the numbers of people, the experts you need, they will be flying directly here and uh, you know, implement the projects uh, according to the customer needs. What we're trying to achieve in Nigeria is uh, how we can set up captive uh, power plants and uh, IPPs. We have a partnership with uh, JEDEC and what we're really trying to do is get power to industries and people. Uh, the background to this is that in my, in my growing up, you know, I was born in Ethiopia and uh, grew up in Nairobi. We've been through uh, a young age when there was no power, you know, and uh, you feel bad when you actually under, you know, you hear people saying that we are, you know, blowing up 30, uh, flaring up 30 million dollars of commercial gas every day, you know, so that's the type of uh, wastage that's happening. My passion is how can now we, how can we convert that gas and convert it to power? You know, so that's what I would really like to do.